Kelly from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for September 2024. So on September 17th, we have our major event popping off, not only in September, but in this fall season, which happens to be the full moon lunar eclipse taking place in Pisces energy. This is our very first taste of what the Pisces and Virgo axis is going to be for us from now until 2027. So we have this full moon lunar eclipse, which is basically a full moon on steroids. We are not in control. Karma definitely has the driver's seat at this particular point in time to put us on the path that we failed to put ourselves upon. We are going to reach the 25th degree, 41 minute of this Pisces energy at 1035 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we are definitely going to be in all of the fields. Now, if you have your Virgo season e-guide available, I'm going to recommend that you flip to this particular section and really capture what's going on for you. And of course, uh, we have a whole Eclipse Edition episode, an hour and a half doing a deep dive into what the next couple of years is going to be for us. So if you're very interested, kind of understanding how to work with this energy a little bit, let's call it up close and personal, I'm going to recommend that you definitely get yourself in on that particular Eclipse Edition episode. But we're just going to cover the bases here. This is a gentle nudge in a totally different direction. This Pisces energy is definitely going to be building the bridge to get us out of the old world and bridge the gap into the new world, but it's not going to happen overnight. This eclipse energy is blocking us from the truth of the matter, from our reality, if you will. It is going to be quite some time before we're going to make sense of a lot of information, a lot of details that will be popping off under this particular full moon. But just know that karmically speaking, we are in a closure series. We do have to release some things. We do have to bring things to a completion point. And surrendering to it all is the name of the game. Of course, this full moon in Pisces will be followed up by a new moon solar eclipse in Libra energy as we move into October here. And we will be in this karmic whirlwind of energy for quite some time. This is the very beginning of a brand new chapter, and it's being interwoven, if you will, in between the Aries and Libra and Axis that we're still very much on. We are going to see a lot of karmic events probably remove and close the door on a lot of situations that, technically speaking, many of us are going to perceive as a punishment, as a loss. Now, is it actually? No, because nothing's happening to you. Everything is happening for you. But is it going to be messy? Absolutely, it is. We are in an earth season. This is a lot of water energy. We need that water energy in order for growth to actually take place. When you water earth, growth does occur. But we have a lot going on under this particular moon event. I am going to recommend that you download the moon guide. We have a huge list of tension points, a huge list of indicators that we're going through some major growing pains. There are some beautiful aspects popping off under this particular moon event as well. But again, a lunar eclipse, removing, subtracting out of our lives. This is likely going to be a releasing period, a surrendering period, a completion period. And of course, nobody likes those particular endings. Now, again, there's a lot of energy swirling and we are equal earth to equal water. So we definitely know that we have to balance out the inner spiritual growth with the physical external growth. And we are definitely going to have a couple of months in order to see where it is that we have to boss up, where it is that we have to be actively closing doors, actively wrapping up karmic chapters and doing what we can to basically take a leap of faith, trust the universe, trust ourselves, that even though we don't have the information, the details that we're hoping to have at this particular juncture, that we are going to take step forward in this uncharted territory, trusting that we are being guided to our highest timeline, to our soul's potential. So there's definitely some emotions that are going to rise to the surface. There's definitely a want, need, and desire to escape reality at the same time. We have a lot of activations taking place in our psychic abilities. We have a lot of aha moments that won't really make sense to us until we kind of deep dive into November. This is a long-term influence, and this will be connecting the dots to all of the lunar eclipse and solar eclipse events that we will be experiencing from now until 2027. Huge amount of time 
huge, huge pivot point in our experiences as this humankind goes ahead, continues to grow, continues to evolve. But this Pisces energy is definitely going to throw us into a chapter of enlightenment. And what we do with that particular information is going to set the tone on the success or failure of where the collective is going to take us in the years to come. So of course, I am going to encourage you to listen to your September Zodiac forecast so that you understand where this is really impacting your life. I'm going to encourage you to download the Moon Guide, the Virgo Season E-Guide. I'm going to recommend that you join that Eclipse Edition class. It is very beneficial, especially if you want to understand in your chart what activators are going to be taking place, influencing you from now until 2027. So with all of that being said, you're going to want to put your energetic helmet on and you're going to want to lay back and try to enjoy the ride. <laughs>